Hey guys, so in this video I am going to be creating a Hogwarts professor on these this TikTok tag. Um, I like creating like my OCs and creating videos for them. So this is kind of like a cosplay test slash create. I don't know where I'm going with her. Um, I believe that I'm going to put her either in Slytherin or in Ravenclaw. Probably Ravenclaw because I already have a Slytherin character. But I actually may put her in Slytherin because I'm in Slytherin. I don't know yet. There's a couple of people that are already on it, and there's a couple of Slytherins that are already in it, so maybe Ravenclaw? I don't know. Um, the attire that I had picked out doesn't really specify which one, like she's not wearing a particular color. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of excited for this. Um, so I got all my makeup together. I did get this palette and her eyes are purple so I think I'm gonna try to do some purple first and uh, yeah sorry that you can see the mirror it's easier for me oh I have another purple thing too maybe I'll do purple and blue I don't know yet Let's just get started. I do know that I do want to use this. Okay, there's a couple of purples. There's like a darker one right here. And these two lighter ones. So, maybe do like a purple smoky eye, but try to make it light. If you can see that, but the purple is there. Kind of just a little bit darker. Now I'm going to go in with the darker and try to create a crease, like a V, crease V. <clears throat> pat on more of the purple shimmer I think I'm going to put a little bit of concealer on the inside of on my lid so the purple has something to attach to pretty much like a cut crease yeah that's a lot better Now I gotta go back and fix the purple, the darker purple. Uh, 
Because, like, her clothes are black and white, so... I'm not... Like, I can play with the colors a little bit. But I wanted to do purple because her eyes, like, when I do the actual TikToks, there's a um, filter to do purple eyes, like, contacts. And I'd like to get, like, legit contacts for it, but... You do what you can do with what you got. I have hooded eyes, so, like, you can't see my makeup. <laughs> And of course I gotta clean up everything. Okay, for the under the brow, I'm going to take my highlighter and put that on the brow. And I need to put on my brows. Everything that I'm using will be listed down below. And I use mainly um, drugstore or like Walmart stuff. Because I am poor. And this is what poor people do. Oh, I have like the perfect lipstick that leaves kind of like a purple. And it's Jeffree Star that my best friend gave me. Thanks, Kay. Doubt you'll watch this, but thank you. If I can find my brow pencil. That would be great. There it is. I'm going to probably put the brows on a little bit darker than I normally do. I try to keep them kind of like light to match my natural hair color. That, you know, like all that right there is my natural. So, but we're going to put them on a little bit darker. Like, see, the difference. I'm gonna do a top layer, or a top, like I can't do the um, tight line or the exorcist line because uh, my eyes are too sensitive but I can put it on the top and on the bottom okay now we're gonna go back in with that dark purple and put it underneath the black like smudging the black a little bit that actually kind of looks good with my green eyes well at least I think so okay now time for Face makeup. Okay. Okay. Now 
I'm going to attempt to use some blush. But go a little heavier than I normally do on it. Okay. <clears throat> now, for highlights, I'm going to use the same highlight that I had for my eye. This is not an eyeliner highlighter brush, but we're going to use it for that. Normally, I just use my finger. To be completely honest, we're gonna go a little heavy on that highlight too. I mean, obviously, making sure it's blended in. Now, I'm actually going to go back with the blush, and I don't know why I keep closing that damn palette. And we're going to make my nose a little, like I have a little red nose. Go, go back over it with some highlight so we don't kind of go back and forth. Like that. Okay. And I'm planning to put eyelashes on. I was doing that last mascara time. I'm going to put my eyelashes and my um lipstick on last. I'm going to go ahead and do my hair. So I'm going to wait for my thing to heat up. Okay. I was going to like curl it all, but I think I'm just going to focus on the outer parts because that's where like my hat's going to sit. So. Okay, <clears throat> I had to charge my phone a little bit, but I went ahead and put on the fake eyelashes. I have a friend. You can't see the friend. Okay, get down. Mm. Kitty cats. Um, I went ahead and did my hair but like if you've got straight board hair you understand this dilemma your hair doesn't stay curled for very long so probably gonna be doing that 15,000 freaking times I'm gonna go ahead and put on 
the lipstick so it can sit. And then I'll be getting dressed. Here's the finished hair and makeup. Going from bleh to good. Um, I was trying to buckle my cuff sleeves, but like this thing is so tiny I can't get my arm through. And, uh, I'm a dork and can't cuff my stuff on my own. So, we're just going to leave them open. But, yeah. My top is from, um, Wish. And it was like part of my Lolita type stuff. And then the skirt is from, I think, Rugged Warehouse. But yeah, and then I've got my jewelry. Okay, I've got this that has a bit of green, but I feel like it will look good for the Ravenclaw thing. And then I was gonna have a lot more jewelry, but I don't think so now. And then I've got oof, my time turner. That looks really old, so it kind of goes with the Victorian vintage theme that I've got going on. And, uh, oh, it's still on. Cool. And now I'm just gonna make sure that all these little pieces are good. And that's gonna be about it. Professor Fretchen. And here is Professor Fretchen. Thank <laughs> you.